Welcome back, guys. This is Wedding to Be Perfect podcast. My name is Ty, and I have Gabby with me. Um, I just want to take a quick second and say thank you so much for all the listenings and followers that we have currently. We are very excited to see our podcast hitting people and getting exposed with our podcast. It is super cool seeing our podcast being shared and actually people listening to it and stuff like that. So I'm very excited to see where this journey goes with us. But yeah, episode five, uh, we have a really cool episode for you today. We have a special guest, of course. Her name is Morgan McPherson. She's with Beliza Hair Salon, Bridal, and Barbershop. We we definitely want to make a podcast giving you guys options of potential hairstylists and also kind of thinking of how you should get your hair done for the big day or what you should be doing for hair and makeup on the big day, especially for guys. Normally for us, we like to do everything last minute. So this kind of gives you guys a chance to sit and realize maybe I should book somebody to get my hair done, especially for uh, your bridal party or your groom's party as well. Uh, even though we are dudes in a way, we, you definitely want to look good as well. So, yeah. And it's funny you mentioned that. Uh, my tip for today was actually um, for grooms to schedule a haircut the week of um, and possibly uh, get a style style job done the day of too with um with a company like beliza um who actually like does men's hair specifically or um even your own stylist um just kind of maybe even ask them for some tips and tricks on how to style your own hair if you can't kind of get that appointment in um for your big day but they'll always be happy to help you um, make sure that you look the best for your day definitely do that i know for myself when i get a haircut i kind of like my hair about three, four days after getting my hair cut. Don't get me wrong, a fresh cut looks nice and clean. But for me, when there's an event that's happening, like let's say there's an event that's happening on a Saturday, I try to get my hair cut done on Monday or Tuesday because for some reason when I give it those extra days of just a little bit of growth, yeah. it, it has a really nice look to it yeah. for some reason. It settles in. Um, you know, I know. Yeah. I just, it, to me, I love my fresh cut. Definitely for me, I, I do the, the fade style. So you have the nice hair on top and then of course fades all the way down. And of course I get my like line cut. I, I wear hats all the time. So I don't know where <laughs> nobody, hat, but, nobody knows what your hair looks like. <laughs> <laughs> um, the thing is, is I, I, I enjoy just kind of that post haircut yeah. days not so. not too fresh not too not, clean not, not too i not mean too like it's still clean and <laughs> especially on those days people are like you got a haircut and i'm like yes i did about four years ago but yes this is what i like so definitely that's a good tip go get your haircut try to get it booked um yeah, especially they might, for even, God, they might even do uh your your beard if you got a beard yeah, too the and razor straight razor make cuts. sure you look super fresh once again, uh, the company is called Blaze Hair Salon. We'll have their websites and stuff down in the descriptions on YouTube and also our MP3 of this podcast. Just a quick little um, back office kind of take care of this real quick. Um, Weddings Made Perfect podcast is sponsored by End Events LLC. End Events is a St. Louis-based events company that specializes in photography, videography, DJ, and photo booth services, as well as officiant and event planning serv- and coordination services. Um, you can find End Events at endevents.com. That's E-N-D-Y events.com. Um, or you can find them on social media, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter at End Events. So uh, go and check them out. Definitely do that. Also, once again, this is Weddings Made Perfect Podcast. You can email us at weddingsmadeperfectpodcast at gmail.com. That is weddingsmadeperfectpodcast at gmail.com. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Definitely give us a follow on both of those sites. Uh, we love seeing them. We got super excited when we hit 100 followers. Um, we're now, I think, around like 110. But when you guys see this, I'm sure it's going to be more. But we take every following and like, seriously, we love to see the notifications pop up every single time. It makes me happy. Yeah. I'm um, seeing that. 
Right. And uh, don't forget, if you have a wedding coming up, shoot us an email. If you have any questions or like a specific topic you want us to touch on, any of that good stuff, email us, weddingsmadeperfectpodcast at gmail.com. Awesome. So let's get into the episode. <laughs> <clears throat> What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Weddings Made Perfect Podcast. My name is Ty, and I have Gabby with me, as always. This episode um, is going to be a very special episode. We have a special guest with us um, from Beliza Hair Salon. Her name is Morgan McPherson. Um, definitely this episode is going to be about just hairstylists and just kind of going through uh, making sure you're booking some sort of stylist on your day because, I mean, hair is definitely important. Makeup is definitely important. You want to look really nice. So that's why we're here. We're going to go through uh, basically what Beliza has offer for us. Am I saying that right? Beliza? Beliza. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, what they have an offer and uh, yeah. So if you guys are looking for a mat, uh, like a matching hairstylist uh, and if you're nervous to try out new hairstylists or just not quite sure which stylist at Beliza Salon Company would be the right fit for you. Uh, we understand that's why we offer our exclusive meet your stylist survey in less than five minutes. You'll see which stylist you're matched with. So definitely uh, do that survey on their website to be, be able to figure out like what style list would be great for you. Um, also, they have multiple rewards. Uh, they have received um, several awards from the Knot from the past few years now for Best of Weddings. Also, Business Hall of Fame for two consecutive years in O'Fallon, Missouri. Uh, they also received an award for a Perfect Wedding Guide for Vendor's Choice and have been showcased in several St. Louis Best Bridals magazines. They also help in their community by donating for different local groups. Um, like the Megan Meyer Foundation, YMCA, Dazzling Divas, Casino Nights, U.S. for Children Gala, Undivided, Dining in the Dark, Hope Lutheran Pop, Swansea Apartment Center, Irish Culture, A Tasteful Affair, and the Cross and Baseball Booster Club. These are just uh, some of the donations to communities that they've done um, in the past, um, which is really cool. Morgan truly loves working with Laser Team to assure all in salons behind the scenes operation are running smoothly as well as growing their team both personally and professionally. She has received advanced training in social media, blogging, and salon marketing and has spent nine years in the salon industry. She has a passion for connecting with her team and organizing their operation to help grow their business to the next level. She has a, a bachelor degree in studio arts and a minor in mass media and communication from the University of Mississippi, and she loves all things creative and artsy. Uh, please welcome Morgan McPherson. Morgan, thank you for yes, joining us today. Thank you for having me. I'm super excited to be here. Of course, of course. So um, let's go through your background a little bit. Let's uh, drill you with some questions. Okay, okay, I'm ready. <laughs> early in the it's morning. early, yeah, but I think I'm ready. in the morning. <laughs> okay, shoot. So, <laughs> so um, how did you get into um, your position where you're at? What is your position and how did you um, get into it? Yeah, so um, my position right now at Belize Salon is I'm my official title is a salon manager, but I also run our bridal department, which is super special to me. It's a very fun part of my job. Um, I got into the industry just kind of by, to be honest with you, kind of by a fluke. So I'm not a cosmetologist. Um, I have a background in, um, I have a degree in studio art. Um, down south, I went to college at University of Mississippi and kind of um, knew I wanted to do something creative, working with people, not really sure what that is yeah. when I when I graduated. So um, I kind of had a part-time job at a, at a different salon and just kind of grew to a different role there and then left there kind of thinking, you know, what do I want to do now? And um, I was reached out to by um, the salon and one of our um, distributors just saying, like, there's a perfect spot for you. And so I met Robin, our owner. Um, she's awesome. And we have the same values and kind of the same desire for, like, the industry and people and all of that stuff. So I um, I took kind of my um, wedding knowledge. I was also did an internship right out of um, college at an event planning company. I thought maybe that was the route I wanted to go. Um, didn't turn out to be that way. So I kind of took that knowledge, though, and salon life, and um, I'm, I would say, super organized, yeah, <laughs> which absolutely. is oh, you gotta a be. big you part to of manage, this. I mean, I'm sure a salon is big yeah. as Beliza. Yes. Yeah. And also to kind of put our bridal program together, like everything that's needed on the back end to, I don't know, make sure our brides are feeling 
comfortable that we we really want to take care of everything for them. So yeah. it took a lot of that. So yeah, um, that's kind of a long winded answer to your oh, question. Yeah. <laughs> no. How long has the salon been open and how long have you been with them? Yeah, salon has been open um, for 11 years. Um, which we're really proud about. I've been with them for, it'll be six years in March. So oh, awesome. 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 Was yeah. that about the time when like the bridal program kind of took effect or were they kind of doing it before you? Yeah. So they were doing a little bit before um, also. And then kind of when I came in, we were able to systemize things and kind of take it to the next level. Oh, yeah. Kind of get everybody trained up and things like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. What is your mission or what is the mission for Belize? Oh, it's such a great question. So, <laughs> Our mission for Belize, and this is just for our team and everybody, not necessarily wedding focused, but our mission is really to elevate our industry, um, to change sort of the view, I think, of what people have around a hairstylist. Um, Truthfully, we can, I mean, we touch so many lives every single day. Um, I mean, there's people that come into our salon that, you know, we're the only maybe physical touch they've had Mm. in a long time. And it's also like, you know, there's that whole um, thought process of like a hairstylist is like your therapist, you know, and it's super powerful and, and also really, really fun. Like we get to change the way people look and the way they feel about themselves. So we really want to change um, the view of the industry and really elevate that. But also for our team, it's just to grow them personally, to grow them professionally. We, you know, we have stylists that are making like six figures in our salon. And like, that is what we want for everybody. We want them to see this as like a career, um, working only, we schedule about 32 hours for our stylists too. So they're like not the traditional 40 hour, um, work week. So we just want to really give back to the industry and, um, show people how amazing it can be. I definitely like that because definitely making it personalized is really awesome. Um, I have to agree with you kind of backboning off what you said about the whole therapist thing where I go every like three weeks. I try to stay uh, where I'm super picky with my hairstyle, like hairstyle. So uh, my barber that I go to, she's super awesome. Um, I it is therapeutic for me. I go there like sitting down in the chair, immediately just pouring things out, uh-huh. like things I would not say to anybody <laughs> yeah. else. Yeah. The thing is, is, she knows my life. She knows my personal things. And like, I sit there and it's just, it's weird how it works. Cause like yeah. you're sitting there and she's cutting and she's just like, so how's everything going? You're just like, Oh my God. everything's yeah. awesome. oh, everything God. Like, asking. <laughs> yeah. So it's just it's like, something about and that. Also like an hour later, like, Haircut's done. I'm still sitting in the chair. Yeah. It's like, it's weird how yeah. those chairs are like magical. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and like, we've seen people literally like cry from the way they look or the way they oh, feel, yeah. you know, that's and that's, awesome. that's so important. And for our team, we just want to do a lot of personal development too. We do a lot of that. Um, really. Cause we feel like if they are like a full complete person and we're like pouring into them in that way, they can better like serve our guests and then guests can go out and better serve the community and that's really the impact that we want to make that's, amazing. that's cool so um do you guys book more like on just hairstyles alone of people like walking in or just like normal clientele or do you actually try to go more like the bridal party or you know weddings yeah. in general like is there a nice 50 50 yeah or it's a good question so our bridal department's usually it's about 20 percent of our business so we always say like we're a normal hair salon you know five days of the week and then fridays saturdays and sundays we can kind of morph into a bridal salon so we kind of do both um but we do we get call-ins for sure um we have i think we're really lucky we have a pretty high new guest count every month we average about 120 new clients a month um, which is awesome. We have a really cool, um, new, um, what am I trying to say? What's it called? It's a, um, <laughs> hold on. Let me think. Oh, yeah, you're, you're, good. 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 Yeah. you're good. Um, uh, I guess it would be, uh, we have a really cool new system on our website, it's called Meet Your Stylist. So any new client, or really anybody, um, it's kind of like match.com for your stylist. Oh my God, that's amazing. So it's really fun. So our team has filled out a little questionnaire about themselves. So like what services they want to do or they love doing, um, 
what they do on the weekends, like a little bit of personal, a little technical, professional stuff. And then what happens is um, a guest can go on the website and fill out a questionnaire about herself and it'll match, the system will match them with their top three stylist picks. So then they can kind of go through there and say, okay, you know, who Amber, who is Amber? Let me check her out and see what she does. And they can kind of match themselves with like a really awesome oh stylist. Oh my God, so. that's so brilliant. It makes it easy yeah. too. So yeah. like mm-hmm. instead of, it's, I mean, it's so intimidating to trust somebody yes. with your hair. I mean, I, I mean, yeah. as a female. Uh-huh. I and do a blonde. Know, right? Yes. yes. <laughs> I mean, it's nerve wracking to I'm, like to find somebody new and be like, yes, I trust you mm-hmm. to like make me look completely well, different. Like I yeah. said, like, I'm super picky with who cuts my hair. Yeah. And it took me almost six years to finally find my person. Well, her name is Jamie, uh, but she's a... F- she does her own business. She, you know, just runs a chair uh, place. She's jumped around to four different places and I followed her yeah. from all four places because this is who I want. Right. Yeah. And so it's just, it, yeah, you, you gain that trust with somebody. You want that person to like trust you with your hairstyle mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, it is, it's insane. Yeah. yeah. You're looking for a lasting <clears throat> relationship. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And that's why I could it's see crazy. like a match kind of being the perfect way to find that like, yeah. lasting relationship. A hundred percent. And for our company too, we're all about like right guest, right seat. Like we want that match to happen because when it's a mismatch, then there's that feeling of like, Ooh, I don't really want to go back now. Yeah. And oh, for yeah. us, it's more about like, it doesn't matter who you're seeing in no. our salon company. And our team is really, really awesome with that too. They're like, we just would rather the, yeah. the and for, for the stylist too, they feel more comfortable when there's somebody in their chair that they love to oh, absolutely. Like, they're absolutely. meshing with and yeah. all of that. Yeah. So it's been a really cool um, thing we've implemented because um, I've heard a lot of conversations on the floor of, like guests saying to the stylist, oh, we ma- like we matched online, you know, <laughs> it's like That's it creates so this awesome. sort of, um, you know, mutual immediate trust, which is really yeah, been absolutely. Really cool. so, so how far out in advance should people book then for not only just bridal stuff, but also just a walk in or just in general? Like, yeah. What? Well, for for weddings, my recommendation is as soon as you know your wedding date and you you know, know that you're going to need hair and makeup, I always say reach out as soon as possible because we want to reserve that time um, for you, for sure. So as soon as you know and as soon as you want to make that commitment, um, book as soon as possible for that. Um, But we do also have brides that will call a month ahead of time and we do happen to have time available. We will take that also. You know, we want to accommodate everybody. For regular services, um, yeah, we do same day call-ins, walk-ins, things like that, and you can sometimes luck out. But we always... Um, recommend if um, somebody like yourself who knows, okay, every three weeks I'm going to be in the salon and I want my girl Jamie or whoever it might be, um, just to to book out while you're there. Um, We are a growing salon. We book up pretty quick. So, um, you know, we have a wait list situation too, where our system will reach out to somebody who's on a wait list, but that's never fun. Like I never want to put people on that. So, um, so we're flexible with that. And we also do online booking and you can text in um, to book that way. Um, call in, of course, things like that. Awesome. That's really cool. So, um, so for brides, do you guys do multiple, um, like we have multiple weddings in a day? Yeah, we do. So we have a, a large bridal team, so we can accommodate a lot of weddings at a time. Um, we're set up to do in salon services, of course, but we also travel on location. Um, so we have, you know, our kit set up and our team that will travel and set up and do hair We've done hair and makeup in many uh, crazy places, yeah, and, sure. <laughs> you know, on a couch, on the floor, oh, whatever. Yeah. Um, basement. Basement. <laughs> basement. Yes, exactly. So we're set up to do that, which is really nice because that means, you know, we can have essentially two weddings at the same exact time, but yeah. we have maybe somebody in the salon and a couple people out in locations. I think the biggest wedding weekend we did was we did 12 weddings in a weekend. Holy cow. Yeah, which is between, you know, Friday and Sunday, yeah. so several in a day, but um yeah, we're set up to do that. So wow. it's definitely interesting because uh, as being a cinematographer, uh, so I film a lot of weddings um, on site. There's been a tons of times where I would be going to a, like a hotel where the bridal party is and they're getting hair and makeup done. And immediately when they're done, they start packing up. And I always ask them, I go, so how many more do you have left? And they look at me just like four. <laughs> I, was just like, <laughs> I, was like, I don't have yeah. time. I don't even have time to answer this, this is, question. Thing, yeah, I need to leave. The thing is, is they're leaving and it's they left at like 9.30 so right. on a Saturday. So I'm sitting here thinking, I'm like, man, so how early did you get? And then also she was like, I had one before this. So I'm just like, 
So you're telling me you probably started at like six or seven o'clock this morning. Yeah. Then you just drove here hours. to the Ritz Carlton, <laughs> did this at the Ritz Carlton, right. and now you're going to I don't know, Carmel Room or wherever. Yeah, like, uh-huh. It's just insane yeah, to me, all like over the what? Place. Yeah. How you guys do that? Yeah, so. it's really fun though. Like I can feel the energy of our team mm-hmm. on those days. Like they love it. Yeah. They're you know we have a slow like January February is not super busy for weddings. Oh, yeah. You know in St. It's Louis. It's kind of our Slower season. time, yeah. yeah ours I call, too. I call my vacation time. <laughs> yeah, like, right. January, February, and then like mid March ish. So that's that's where I get to like. I guess that's our summer break. I was gonna say summer break. Uh-huh. Like, that's our summer break. <laughs> what where, summer break? Like, like, pouring just, rain out right now. <laughs> so the thing is, I'm just like, yo, does anybody want to go on a vacation? They're like, no, I have to work. I'm yeah. like, well, you guys what? are late. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I'm, like, I'm off. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but when there's the slow time for us too, our team, like I just heard one of our girls, um, the other day was like, gosh, I'm ready for those weddings to start back up. You know, it's just like the energy of the day goes so by so fast. Um, it's also super special that we're a part of like that and like getting somebody ready to, for their like most important day of their life is truly such an honor. And our team does not take that lightly and, you know scheduling things too and the fact that we're able to do most weddings in a day is that you know we're very aware that we're usually the first stop of a bride's day yeah so if we're running late or things yeah. aren't going yeah. the way they're supposed to it's going to throw off our oh, yeah. whole day Absolutely. so that is like number one when we're scheduling things out especially it's, when those timelines are super tight super i've tight. seen them oh yeah too, like it's, it's yeah insane. super tight so um we'll tell a bride just to let us know like when she needs make hair and makeup done by yeah, like yeah. that's our we we need that so then what we do is we'll work backwards from there knowing that like okay she's got five bridesmaids a mom whatever like whoever's getting services done and I, you know we've got five people working on our wedding so we're going to just kind of work backwards yeah. from there which means we're going to start because i also never want to start somebody like super early you know where you're oh, you yeah. feel like you're doing hair and makeup for hours and hours that's not fun yeah. either oh and you never know what's going to happen too with mm-hmm. you know t- it's windy out or something then in your you get your hair done at seven and you're totally set of ceremonies at five and yeah like five comes and you're like oh my gosh where's my hair right this looks terrible right yeah. yeah but it's also a special time so I want to book out enough time when they're like enjoying the experience of yeah like relaxed not rushed yeah yeah exactly. absolutely so do you personally like on-site or like on-site more than actually in the shop or salon or what do you what do you prefer yeah we we don't we love travel weddings love those um just because it's it's fun for our team to be able to go to them too and also it's it's a little bit of a um for the bride i think it's a little bit of time saving yeah um where we feel but we're totally great we love weddings in the salon too of course that's fun because you know there's other guests in there and they get to see that and that's really fun yeah (laughs) Um, but for on location, if we travel on location, we just know that there's a sense of calmness from the bride. Mm. You know, yeah. she she knows she's where she needs exactly. to be. Whereas at the salon, there's usually that moment of like, what time is it? Yeah, I gotta get out of here, yeah. you know, which we're you know, we're aware of what time they need to leave also. So we're we of course honor that, but on location just adds like a little bit of calmness. Yeah. To make them even have more of a calmness, um, attitude towards their big day coming up do you guys offer any pre-wedding trials yeah we do like like Mm pre-wedding yeah so we do offer we always recommend a trial um we feel like what we want on our bride's wedding day is that she is super confident with her look that she knows exactly what we're gonna do she's not nervous about it at all um so we always recommend that we do a um we can do like a 60 minute hair trial which is usually just like one look. Um, we also can do a 90 minute hair trial, which is up to two looks. Um, we do hair, or we do a um, um, makeup trial, of course, airbrush makeup we offer as well as just our regular bare minerals makeup. Um, we can just schedule that at any time. We always recommend maybe about two months prior to the wedding date because we just feel like that um, the bride's hair length and color and her skin tone, all of that's close to what it's going to be on her wedding day. So she knows exactly what it's going to look like. And, um, you know, she's going to wear a veil. We always recommend her bring a, yeah. her veil in or like kind of yeah. a stand in veil so she can see what that is. Um, if she wants any clips, things like that. Also that two month mark gives us enough time. If let's say she thinks, okay, I want to wear it up in this, whatever intricate updo, 
and she gets done and she's like, oh, maybe that's not what I want. Actually, maybe I want to wear it down or half up or whatever. So it gives us plenty of time to do a follow-up trial, which we always offer to um, for a discounted price. Because for us, it's more important that we get her back in to see her again and make sure she's feeling confident and loving that look. Um, Then we know on her wedding day that she's, you know, she's, she's set. And we do a trial paperwork and ask a bunch of questions. Um, you know, does she, you know, is it going to be outside? Is it going to be inside? What's your dress? What's yeah, your neckline? I was going like? to say that's, that can be a big, de- yeah. you know, p- part important. of it for yeah. <clears throat> brides and stuff. So it's like having a good photo of your dress and mm-hmm. I'm sure you guys have suggestions too. You know, if you see a high neckline, you're like, hmm, it might be better with an updo just to kind of yes. bring out your neck, you know, that kind yeah, of stuff too. So exactly. It's probably good for, um, some brides maybe that are, you know, they're kind of like, Ugh. I just have no idea. Like, I don't, I don't know what to do. And you're yes. like, don't worry. We've, we'll we'll, We've got we'll this. figure this out. We've done this before. <laughs> yeah. 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 Not only it falls for, like, what they may want, but also the timeline in general where uh, doing the trial um, will definitely kind of show you, okay, this is how much hours we need to book or how many, you know, minutes mm-hmm. yeah. for the actual yeah. timeline. So you can kind of see how that day is going to go in the morning time Absolutely. before whatever, maybe the first look at, like, noon or one o'clock mm-hmm. now you know okay maybe we should start at eight instead of nine because it gives us the extra hour for whatever right reason. yeah this bride has a ton of hair you know we yeah. didn't know she had a ton of yeah. hair we need we need to schedule more time out which is that's really for us is like the best thing about doing a trial is that that timing but also too you know it could be that um maybe we need to send some different products than we thought we were going to right mm. because she's got maybe more textured hair. So we want to make sure we have those things also, you know, it just for us, it sets us up for success too, to know that, okay, this is exactly what we need, yeah. what we need to bring the timing. Yeah, absolutely. And also we want to create that relationship with that bride too. We want her to be like, when we walk in for her to be like, what's up, yeah. you know, Hey, Super like it's comfortable. I'm, yeah. Yeah. That like I'm so face. happy to see you. Yeah. Exactly. So, um, we always recommend that we don't require it. And there's some brides that just don't, maybe they're, um, a little more laid back and they don't need that yeah, and that's fine yeah. too and we've got a team that's great and they're very trained and can really rock out whatever style we always recommend though if you have inspiration photos bring those yeah. that helps us like yeah, nail absolutely. down what Pinterest you want Pinterest board. yes bring your Pinterest <laughs> board <laughs> definitely totally. uh, so then it kind of follows up with that question um, do you guys accommodate like big bridal parties so I'm talking like the sorority girls, like, because I've seen them where they're like 12, 10. 14 yeah. girls mm-hmm. in yeah. one party. Yes. Do you guys come in all? Yeah, we do. We do. I think I just had talked to a bride. I think she said she had 11 bridesmaids. Ooh. Yeah. Um, we do. We can accommodate big, small. Um, we don't require any like specific packages. We're pretty like kind of a la carte with services. So um, even if somebody has 10, 11 bridesmaids, but you know, this person wants to just do hair. Her other person just wants to do makeup. This person just wants to do eyes only. Cool. We're, we're good with that. And we'll just schedule whatever time we need. So that's awesome. I, I think the largest bride party I've seen is 14 on each side. Oh my so gosh. 24 people, that is too not many. including the bride and groom. Ugh. So 26 people in total. And that was just the bridal party. The actual party itself was around 350. Oh, my this goodness. is, of course, <laughs> pre COVID. Pre COVID. <laughs> yeah. 2018. But it was insane. I, yeah, from they, our side, that makes me think of a nightmare because directing that many people for like formal photos is mm. the worst. Oh yeah, the it, worst. The they had, the photography team had three, um, and they were just they cranked it out. They just wow. divided it up, and they were killing it. I guess if um, you know going into it, you're like, let's do this. Yeah, <laughs> they have army of makeup hair day for the. Oh, it, oh, was, it was good. It was on site location, oh, which was goodness. great because. I, that was definitely needed. I felt like that was needed to be an on-site uh-huh. location. To get everybody to make sure, done. Yeah. Um, they started at like 6 o'clock in the morning, just cranking it all out. But they were doing yeah. all of it. The hair, makeup, everything you could wow. think of. They were getting a whole yeah. shebang. So what do you guys have offered for, or what do you guys offer for like the bridal side and even the groom side? Yeah, for for services. Yeah, for services. Yeah, so for brides, um, we do obviously hair, any sort of hair service. Um And here's the thing, we're a regular hair salon too, so we have a really awesome perk. If you book with us, um, if a bride books with us, she becomes what we call like a bride VIP. So she gets 20% off of all pre-wedding hair services and 20% off of all retail, which means like we would love for her to come in. If she's looking for a specific look on her wedding day, we want to be able to help her with that. You know, whether she's like, 
you know, I want a little more length and thickness. Maybe we would get, you know, talk to her about doing hair extensions, but she gets a perk for all colors, all cuts, um, hair extensions, any services that she wants to do with us. We So we can kind of work with her through that year and make sure she's getting, you mm-hmm. know, oh, wow. on track so if, for that. So if she comes in with like, uh, blonde hair and decides she wants to be like brown for her wedding uh-huh. you guys will like book with her and give her like that 20 percent off to get the yeah. color, color yeah figured out colors wedding day. cuts everything interesting yeah wow, that's awesome and a lot of times we'll do you know mm-hmm. like put her on a, like a treatment schedule for her hair like oh, let's yeah. say she wants you know she's like i feel like it's really dry or whatever okay let's let's schedule out some treatments for oh, you wow. so it's you're you've got more of that glow happening in your hair um so that's, awesome. that's a really cool perk um, and then after her wedding, a perk we have too is she gets um, 30% off of what we call like a honeymoon haircut. I feel like a lot of brides want to come back and like chop their hair off or do something fun like that. So we do that too. Um, for um, bridesmaids, uh, we do a $20 off any um, like well, any service, any new service. So um, that's really fun. We have sometimes the bridesmaids and the bride will come in and do like a um, – a pre-wedding like blowout party yeah. and do something or something for like rehearsal dinner or whatever for us too it really sets us up in a good spot for the next day when we're going to be able to um, when we're going to do their hair so yeah. we know like okay we're going to prep your hair the right way you're going to look great tonight for this fun fun night but then tomorrow you're going to be ready for yeah. like an awesome update absolutely too. um so we do that for um for grooms we um we the same thing so we offer a perk for for grooms when they book for book with us um we have a really awesome barbershop in our salon. Um, it's really uh, fun. We've got black and white checkered floor. We've got whiskey barrel um, bar kind of in there. Just oh like my gosh, that's fun so cool. old school barbershop feel. Um, it's really fun spot, spot in our salon. Do you guys get a lot of guys coming in and like actually yeah. booking and doing that? Yeah, we get a ton of guys. Um, what we t- what we usually talk about with to the bride too is that you know don't forget about the guys because sometimes I think they're um, grooming gets kind of oh, pushed yeah. off to the end. Well, that's a good <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we, we do a lot of, actually what we do more of is, um, like bachelor pre bachelor parties. That's all. So they come what? in and like do a fun, <laughs> like, cool. like grooming day. <laughs> <laughs> and then, then they head on to wherever they're going to go. So we do, um, if a gro- uh, groom books with us, we'll do like a fun, like, um, we have beer, of course, and a little cheese and sausage plate oh, nice. and um, sports going and just yeah, kind of make it a really manly kind of day. Yeah. Yeah. And it's really fun. Charcuterie board. Yes. Yes. I love, I love yeah. Charcuterie board. Honestly. <laughs> it's probably uh, my favorite meal. Uh, for, I mean, like for me, I know what this is, but maybe someone who's listening may not know what this is, but can you actually... Go through what is airbrush makeup? Yeah, absolutely. So airbrush makeup is, um, we use a brand called Temp2. And what it is, it's it's silicone based and it's actually applied onto the skin through an air compressor. It's like this little um, gun, looks like a little, (laughs) a little like air compressor gun kind of thing. And what happens is um, it, all sorts of shades of foundation, things like that. You're still color matched, all that good stuff. And it's, it's sprayed on in a way that creates um, a little bit of like a web on the skin. It's really, really awesome for um, HD photography because it doesn't have a lot of like light bounce back. So you're, you don't have like that weird, um, like, Hot spots. Hot spots. Thank you. <laughs> Those weird hot spots. Um, it's also 12 hour wear. So it's sweat proof, cry proof. If you're going to like cry at a first look, you don't have oh, this yeah. streak yep. down your Absolutely. face. If you're dancing and you're like getting real close, you're not going to rub off on anybody's like suit coat, things like that. Um, it's well, amazing. Plus, it's super cool getting uh, photos and videos in the morning of when it's happening. Because especially for uh, for me, I could shoot it like a slow motion and you kind of get a nice like like spray. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. And I think sometimes it gets a bad rap. (laughs) I I talked to a lot of brides who are like, I I just don't, I'm more of a natural girl and I don't want that look. And so I try to step in and explain, um, you actually can be very, very natural with airbrush makeup. You can Mm -hmm. go as dramatic that you can definitely be more dramatic, but you can also go really natural and make it look, um, we want the bride to look like herself 
on her wedding day. Yeah. So we will make Absolutely. sure that, that happens. Yeah. Um, but once usually I talk about like especially any summer weddings in St. Louis, if you're outside <laughs> at oh, all, yeah. like I definitely recommend airbrush makeup. My wedding the um Midwest humidity. Yeah. I got married in August outside, which was you Ooh. know, I really took a risk really? there. <laughs> but um I mean I did airbrush makeup for my own wedding and by the like when I got back to the hotel at the end of the night, it looked like it I did in the morning and I I yeah. think that's almost, it's got to be vital, especially where, I mean, you wear white and ev- I mean, everybody knows as soon as you like touch anything, you're going to, it's done. Absolutely. It's done. Yeah. Yeah. It's so, the worst. <laughs> so, and it's, it's, um, it just is really, it's kind of a fun thing also to do on your wedding day. When else are you going to do oh, an yeah. airbrush makeup? That's awesome. And service. Yeah, Every single time I see it in the morning, I get so excited. I'm like, oh, this is so cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's just so cool. It's because it's, it, it, A, it's just, it looks super professional. Yeah. But not only that, it's just, I don't know. I, I love it. It, The aesthetic behind it, everything. Yeah. Also just the protection it gives with the whole Mm -hmm. heat or even crying or just everything in general. Like it just, there's not much touch up that needs to be done throughout the day. Absolutely. And you can do really kind of subtle detail, um, shading and contouring with it too. So, you know, that's really awesome. And you're not then feeling like you're layering on a ton of, Mm -hmm. um, a ton of like mineral makeup that mm-hmm. your concern is going to come off at the end of the day. So, cool. so let me ask you this. So for a bride, um, who, you know, has, has booked with you and you've already done your trial and everything. It's mm-hmm. the night before the wedding. Do you guys give her kind of a set routine of what to do, like with her hair or with her face? Like if she's going to do makeup too, yeah. um, that you kind of suggest to do the night before? Yeah. Great question. So we always recommend that she comes into the salon with clean, dry hair. Um, that, gives us kind of like that neutral palette that we then can put product in and make sure we've got everything in there. Um, so for sure, if she wants to, we're, we're okay whether she, you know, wants to wash it the night before or the morning of. Some people just want to shower that morning. Totally fine. Clean, dry hair for us is perfect. For her skin, we do um, recommend that she's like part of our perk too with the 20% off is we have some awesome skincare at our salon too. So she's been using great skincare. Hopefully that's set her skin up for um, a great look on her wedding day. But we just say, you know, clean skin, moisturize, definitely moisturizer goes a long way. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, when should the party arrive on their day they book if they are doing like in-house salon or they're going in-house for you? Yeah, so we <laughs> always recommend that um, a whole wedding party arrives about 10 minutes prior to their scheduled start time, which we will always give them and let them know when that is. Um, this for us means like, we have a set schedule. Here's where everybody, everybody's names are on the schedule. Here's where everybody's going. Our team knows like, okay, I'm going to go grabbing Gabby. Then I'm doing this. And, you know, like they know exactly what's going on. But if something is to happen and let's say mom needs to run a quick errand and she didn't know she was going to have to, you never know. So if everybody arrives on time, it allows us to fill somebody's spot with somebody else and not run us behind. Um, so we always recommend about 10 minutes prior to the, and then if we're going on location, we will arrive about 10 minutes prior to get things set up. So we're starting Ooh. right on time. Too. So how long does like each service take? Yeah. So, um, bride hair, we allow about an hour, bride makeup about an hour also, unless we've had a pre-trial and we know that she's going to maybe need a little bit longer than we'll allow whatever time that takes for bridesmaids. It's about 45 minutes for each service. Same thing with moms, about 45 minutes. We do junior junior bridesmaids, flower girls, things like that. Those maybe are a little bit shorter time based on how old they are. Um, but then we also have done, you know, aunts and grandmas and yeah. anybody like that. Oh, so yeah. usually about 45 minutes for each service. I feel like that's a question we get a lot with brides because they kind of want to have an idea of like, how long is this even going to take? Yeah, absolutely. So. And you got to know when to tell your photographers to come so that they can get those like getting ready looks and that right. kind of stuff too. Yeah. Do you guys work with photographers? Like, do you guys kind of talk with them or like collaborate in any way? Yeah. Photographers we do a lot with, um, same thing with just like wedding planners too, because yeah. they kind of want to know obviously how that morning's going to go for photographers. For us, it's like, Hey, when do you, if you're going to do a first look, okay, when, when do you need her in her dress ready to go? That helps us a lot yeah. to be like, okay, you need her in her dress by 12. We're probably going to, we want to be out of her hair maybe by 11, gives her like, or 11, 15, something like that, gives her enough time to like take a breath, put her dress on. Maybe you guys want to do some fun photos with her mom, things like that, or or whatever. We know that we want to get all of our stuff packed up and out of the way yeah. at that point. Yeah, a lot so. of that stuff is on-site um, location stuff, um, especially for me um, shooting it. 
Um, I guess my point of view or perspective is we always communicate with the stylist or makeup artist or whoever is there on the day. And we're just like, does our timeline match? Because at yeah. first it's kind of like, yeah. okay, yeah. so this is what I need at this time. Does this match with you? And normally the time it's yes. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, so we just kind of just kind of going through the timeline of, okay, so first look is at noon. She's getting in the chair at like 930. So that gives us a chance to, you know, work with her for about like an hour or so, depending on like how much she's getting done. Yeah. And then, um, so yeah, it's, it's really cool. Um, we just want to stay. We want to stay on time, no yeah. matter what. Yeah. That's yeah. our main sure. goal. Sure. Not yeah. only for one bride, but probably the bride that follows. Too. Exactly. I mean, exactly. It's got to be. Knowing that our team has to be out of there and maybe onto another site or, or whatever, but also that, you know, we don't ever want to leave that bride feeling like stressed. Oh yeah. That is not, yeah. that's not. So we, we usually will help her with scheduling. And a lot of times we have questions about that, you know, what, what do you recommend for timing? And we have, you know, we can help her with that for sure. So I don't know if I actually asked this, but how does the booking process work for everything? Or yeah. Whatever? Step one to, to final um, wedding yeah. day. So um, when a bride inquires with us, she can either call or text or email or um, fill out a form on our website. Then what happens is we'll send back um, our availability if we are available that day. And we have a contract has policies and things like that in it. And then on there too is a spot where she can fill out her information, timing of the day. She puts all of her bridesmaids info on there, what every person wants done, moms, things like that. And then gets that back to us. Then what we do is we um, uh, get her an invoice. We do all of our payments through PayPal. So everything is online, easy to go. She can make payments on it whatever she needs to. We send her that invoice. We do require 25% down to hold her date and time. That goes back towards her bottom line just to reserve that time. Um, And then she'll pay that. And once we see that come through, we'll go ahead and officially book her day. Um, And then, you know, from that point till her wedding day, we can talk about trials, booking trials. We can talk about timing. Sometimes timing things tweak a little bit, which is fine. We always say as soon as they know if something's going to change, let us know, because we will book, obviously, other things during oh, that yeah. day. And we want to make sure we can accommodate her. Um, and then her final payments just do a week prior to the wedding. Um, we do this because on her wedding day, the last thing we want her thinking about is money. Like, dealing with that. Like, yeah. let's just be done with Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Yeah. So, um, and she can send that invoice to her bridesmaids or, or whoever is going to make a payment on it. It doesn't really matter to us. And she can kind of pay off however she needs to. Perfect. I know we just went through the, the bridal part. Um, so what are like also some services you have offered for like the groom side? Yeah. So we're um, full service barbershop. So we have um, certified barbers that have their what's called their crossover license. So our cosmetologist side have gotten um, advanced education and can do like advanced grooming um, services. So everything from what we call like a classic precision haircut. So you're using a straight razor to do like a lineup. Yep. Um, we do bald head shaves, hot shaves, um, full kind of like treatment stuff with it, with um, like doing a, um, like a chair massage. We can do waxing services. We can do all sorts of facial waxing services for guys, color services for guys. Um, yeah, just a little bit of everything in the, in the barbershop. Thank you so much once again for being here. Uh, it was really an honor being able to interview you and just kind of get to know you more. Mm-hmm. Um, also, if you guys are looking for a hairstylist, definitely check out Belisa. We're going to, in the descriptions, uh, put down their website and basically where you could book with them or if you have any questions with them and stuff like that, I'm going to give you guys the link for the website and uh, information like email and stuff. Um, definitely check them out. If you are listening on Spotify or whatever, for the actual mp3 version of this uh, podcast definitely give it a like or a follow um if you have any questions or if you want to know more about us you could email us at weddingsmadeperfectpodcast at gmail.com if you are on youtube and watching us definitely comment on below we'll definitely read those also like turn on notifications for future podcasts that are coming up and episodes that are coming up once again thank you so much and this is wedding made perfect podcast thank you Thank you.